Okay, so we've taken a pass of two thou. Um, just experience tells me these walk quite a bit, so I could happily take a tooth out cut and still be able to show you uh, where the problem was. I will identify now. It is here on this middle cylinder. What we've got, we've got an area of the head that has sunk in this section and that goes between oilways and waterways allowing the head to fail without blowing the head gasket and what this does the significance here is um, uh, the person um, that sent this to me I managed to get hold of and I was asked for it to do a pressure test which I've done which it passed and the reason they ask for that is because they can't see the gaskets blown anywhere because it hasn't the problem is between these ports not from the chamber to the ports which is what normally happens when a, when a gasket goes or we get an inter-cylinder um, failure but normally from the cylinder to outside to a a waterway or an oilway uh, but in this case it sinks and they do this because they get hot it's a little engine it's probably I, I, I don't know a thousand cc 1100 um, something like that and they worked extremely hard they run them fast and they get hot and if you overwork them that's what happens no fault of anybody's it's just design so what we'll do now is we'll take another cut. The gasket's getting very close. Watch that. Um, so we'll put on another two foul. And go again. The lighting is very poor today. Um, I'm not sure what I can do about it. Um, let's see. How's that? Is that any better? It's a dull rainy day today and I'm not getting much daylight in. Um, I think I'm going to have to put another lamp up here. Yeah, uh, just to take it. I can see with my eyes, it's, it's for the videos. Here it goes.
I'm not quite happy with that finish. Um, our back cut didn't take off our course cut. So I'm going to give it another foul. And go again at, at six inches a minute both ways. Okay, that's looking much better. Just going to blow it out and then go back again. Oh, for some reason I don't have any air. Just a second. So we're just taking a, a spring pass on the way back, just to give it a final lick. And there we go. Just thought I'd show you this again. I think I've shown it in another video, which I might not have published yet. Uh, basically, I'm controlling my new camera with my phone so I can start and stop the recording. And I can zoom in and out as I wish. I can when my fingers are clean. And we can zoom in. And um, where is it? There we are. Yeah, it's a weird effect. Anyway, that head's done. Um, messing about with technology here. Uh, that head's done, ready to be collected. Uh, it definitely walked to this area. I'd like to um, just address um, an old wives tale about head warping. Some people seem to think that a head warps like that because they dip in the middle when they skim them. You, you can clearly see that each end is higher and they think the whole the whole head warps. It doesn't. What happens? This head's hollow. Uh, inside it is a water jacket, um, some holes for the clamps, you know, the, the head studs and stuff. 
and what happens is, is when this get, gets hot it changes shape it, it you know it warps and we get a hollow it, it, it goes into the hollow it's not the whole head warps um, because people go on about um, oh your camshafts won't run properly because your, your head's like, shaped like a banana no it's not it's still flat it's just that this surface and area here changes in this case by um, 66 thou and if you look at a, a feeler gauge um, of what 6 thou actually is it's not very much and it probably isn't that much that's how much I've cut it it's probably warped about three and a half thou maybe four thou and uh, with a, a metal gasket that's not acceptable and it will lead to failure um, so there we are there's a little bit of uh, a bit of info there so thank you for watching uh, until next time